Welcome to the Caribbean Vegan Foodie. I am Cam Campbell and today we're going to make some vegan Escovies fish using banana blossom. But before we get into the video, please remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's go! So this is the vegan version of the Jamaican Escovies fish. But before we get into the video, here are the ingredients that you are going to need. off by making our batter and I'm using gluten-free flour because I'm celiac I have a gluten allergy so I'm using gluten-free flour but you can use whatever flour you like you can use regular flour and I'm gonna add in some bacon powder and then I'm going to add in the salt some paprika some onion powder and some turmeric to help with the color to give it a little color and we're gonna get all that mixed in and the original recipe does not call for batter we don't jamaicans we normally don't use batter for our fish or anything but because we're using banana blossom to replace the fish we need this batter to hold everything together so we add our water and we're going to mix our batter till it reach a nice like a pancake consistency. We don't want it too thin because we are going to bake our banana blossom fish. We're not going to fry them. You can fry them if you like, but in this recipe, I am going to bake them. Just a healthier alternative. Now we're going to add some seasoning to our banana blossom. So I'm using some all-purpose seasoning and this is gluten-free, MSG-free and vegan. But you can use whatever all-purpose seasoning that you like that you have at hand. Now we're going to add in some nori flakes and you can also use some ground-up seaweed. And this will help to bring the seaside flavors. So you want to get your hand in there, get your hand dirty because we want to season all that banana blossom and get it well and nicely seasoned. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. So you're gonna let this marinate for about five to 15 minutes. And this is optional, but the longer you marinate it, and if you marinate it, it will help it to soak up all that nice flavor. I'm going to bake these banana blossom fish instead of frying them. So what you wanna do is to line a cookie tray with some parchment paper or reusable paper. I'm using this reusable paper um, liner that I love. I've had it for a while now, you just wash and reuse and it's better for the environment. So you're gonna just dip your banana blossom in your batter and add them to your tray. And this is a little messy, but you know, sometimes it's a little mess in the kitchen. But if you like to fry these instead of baking them, you can always check out my video where I recreate the Barbados national dish. And in that video, I fry the banana blossom fish. So you can check that out if you like to fry them. But this is a healthier alternative if we bake them. So we're gonna bake them for about 25 to 30 minutes at 375. While our vegan fish or banana blossom is being baked, we're gonna move on to making our Escovie seasoning, our Escovie sauce. So we're gonna add some oil to our pot and then we're gonna add our onion and our carrot and we're gonna saute them for about a minute or two until they're a little bit soft. It depends on how you like your veggies. I like my veggies with a little bit of crunch to them. So I'm not going to saute them for more than two minutes. But if you like them on the more soft, side you can always saute them for a longer time after sauteing your onion and your carrot for about a minute you're going to add in your 
bell pepper and I'm using some red and some green bell pepper you know give it a little color and then we're gonna add in our pimento berry and our scotch bunny pepper and I remove the seed and the stem from my scotch bunny pepper you know to make it less hot but it was still really hot and then I'm going to add in our lemon juice so i'm using lemon juice for this recipe the original recipe they use vinegar vinegar is what's used but i don't eat vinegar i don't eat food containing vinegar so i'm using lemon juice to replace the vinegar and i'm adding a little bit of brown sugar you can always omit this but this helps to reduce the heat of the scotch bunny pepper because this was hot but you can always leave it out or use less scotch bunny pepper and we're gonna let this simmer down a little bit because we want at most of the lemon juice to reduce a bit. Look at this, our liquid has reduced to half, so now it is nice and ready. And we're gonna grab our vegan ish. Look at these banana blossom fish, they're nicely baked. So, we're what we're going to do now is we're gonna top it off with our escovy seasoning this smell great this tastes great this is something that you can add to your menu because this is a great vegan option a great jamaican escovy's fish replacement there you have it vegan escovy's fish it tastes good, it smells good, it looks good. It reminds me of home. It is a taste of home. And I had these with some gluten free festival, even turn up the experience even more. And look out for a video coming soon of how I made my gluten free festival. Thank you all for stopping by. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell another friend too. Until next time. What good?